What's up, y'all? I got a feeling of the fee, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into uh, tea room. Let's get it. So in my previous video, I spoke on Boogie's ex-girlfriend attending his performance in Memphis. Now, she had reposted the flyer of 901 Day and stated, we outside. Now, footage of his performance has surfaced and people were shocked to see her there. But not only was his ex there, his baby mama was there as well. Now, obviously his baby mama would be there because his daughter was there. And of course, she's probably going to attend with her daughter, but people was just so surprised to see them both there. Now, it appears that his ex-girlfriend and his baby mama actually have a good relationship. Not sure about how they feel about him dating Carmen as of now but people in his comment section were saying things like why y'all he look like he having fun with his daughter i love that keep playing with carmen but anyways you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below i mean technically his baby mama is family and maybe he's just really close to his ex-girlfriend where they're still very supportive of him but let's move on to this next topic with Corey pritchett and his dad Corey Pritchett. Now, Corey's <laughs> dad, Corey, was arrested over the weekend for a DV dispute. Now, if you guys don't know what DV is, it's a physical crime against your partner which Corey has been accused of that as well. Now, Corey hasn't been live like he normally is, so he's probably dealing with that back at home. Now, Danny was on I fa doubt it. Facebook trying to clear her name of all these scamming allegations, claiming the girl Sherelle that's been exposing her has taken money from someone to actually put out information that she's a scammer. Y'all, mm. you know, I've been reacted to this. Tell me no, 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 no. Okay. Just reacted to that, y'all. Sherelle did respond to Danny. She still claims that she's a skimmer this is what she had to say now danny you know that girl ain't paid me to expose you you knew right after ashley grayson got her indictment that people start inboxing me telling me that you were scamming them that's why you went ahead and blocked me when i started posting about you now that we got that out of the way let's move on to the next topic you said i need to be in front of cps crying for my motherfucking kid back my child is not with CPS. I was homeless and I allowed my child to go stay with my auntie. She filed for sole custody of him. Be for real. Been fighting for my child, still fighting for my child, gonna continue to fight for my child. But you won't. Damn. All I'm saying is she going through some low down dirty. Like she going through some things. That's all I'm saying. Sorry, link the video. I want everybody to show you a M. You show us a M. Come on. Show us. Hurry up now. Screen record it. Sign into your bank account. And show us a M. I'll be waiting. You talking about you going to take my motherfucking child? You wish you could take my child. You need to take your children. The fuck? You some millionaire. You this and you that. But your kids is down there on your mama while she's struggling. Girl, I wake up and go to sleep to my daughters every day. Sebastian is in the country with his hey, godmom and his father. And I'm fighting for Malachi. whoop de doo um, you want a cookie? You want a Sorry, this video. A cookie for explaining my story on a bigger level? On a bigger Oh, let's, let's see, because Zara done sent the video. It's 29 seconds. Me up when we was going for child support. He lives in the country right now. He lives in the country with his godmom, Kat. But Malachi is the one I'm fighting my auntie for. When I was homeless, sleeping in my car, I let him go live with my auntie. She filed for sole custody and basically said I was deemed an unfit mom. But I personally, I personally feel like I've gotten past that point. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh. Yeah, no, my babies are fine. I received, so CPS, instead of them like showing up to the house, they ended up like, they sent me letters in the mail 
saying such and such woo woo woo. Now, I don't know why they didn't show up to the house. Maybe because I'm on social media all the time and maybe they see. They never showed up to my house, but I did get letters in the mail saying that reports had been filed. Let's just. Yeah, no. I yeah. Just went through the whole video. I got some. I, I have to see that whole live to really like, you know, talk about it. But I'm going to just tell y'all where I'm coming from right now. First of all, nobody's perfect. Let's just get that out the way. The problem I'm having with it is she keeps like kind of going for Danny, going for Danny, going for Danny. And it might be obviously that CPS situation because Danny calls CPS on her for one of her kids or whatever, or her kids in general. I'm really not sure. And don't get me wrong. That'll take me to another place as well. My thing is she's just not. Everybody's kind of acting like she is like a good citizen. Like she, you know, is just a great person. And if that's the case, then both of y'all just bad as hell. Like I, I'm not gonna care. If the shit is true about Danny, um, then both of them would just be bad as hell. So I just feel like one can't talk more about the other if you ain't no better than the other. That's just really where I am with it. <laughs> like. <clears throat> The whole CPS situation. She don't have one of her kids, uh, but Danny uh, got her mom taking care of her kids because she's, you know, busy and clearly taking care of them by herself. That's that's exactly what it is. That's what she said. Okay. Yeah, so I would be upset too. You call CPS on mine. I'm on the gas. Yeah. Bitch, I'm Appreciate the uh, no gifts up, bro. These niggas mad. I'm really on their ass. I say on. I, I would be upset as well. Um, and I can't even act like I wouldn't be. Uh. But all I'm saying is, if that's the case, I ain't on neither one of their side. Because if I do feel like the kids should be with their mom, however, times have changed. Like, y'all, it's hard to go out here and just buy a burger. <laughs> like, let's, let's just be honest. For some people, if they were to decide today, like, all right, I'm off. <clears throat> I just want to go get something to eat. Some people are wishing they can just go to a restaurant Get a drink and a burger. And can't do that. And I'm not being funny, by the way. I'm just saying that's a thing. So, like, I just feel as though if mama can watch him, let mama watch him. You know what I'm saying? If she got her mama on payroll, she got her mama on payroll. Neek doing the same thing. Um, I hate that her one of her kids was taken away, and I hope. She is being better to the other kids, but a CPS situation and Danny paying her mom to take care of her kids, it's just like, come on, man. It's the kettle for me. The kettle in the pot, I don't like it. Your audience, and it ain't even a bigger audience. Bitch, my audience is bigger than yours. So you really ain't giving these people nothing. You're not. But what you are giving them is signs of a guilty conscience, signs of somebody who know that they fucking up. And now you're on the internet just saying all types of random ass shit, which it doesn't bother me at all. Like, you know me, I'm going to respond to it. But at least if you're going to mention something, say it right. <laughs> Go, come on. I done told the story a million times. A million fucking times. I went to jail for beating up a bitch when I went to court about my son. And the bitch said something slick. You didn't, you didn't report that, did you? Mm. <sighs> typical. Typical, typical, typical. But anyways... You said nobody can go in for in with you. I never claimed to have a million dollars, so I don't give a fuck what you're talking about with that. But um, we, you show us some M, and I'm quite sure people will be inclined to show their M. Yeah. We ain't seen no money you talking be, about. Huh? We talking about all them lease cars? Girl, please. Please, Shira. Go to bed, baby. You in your closet yelling with the camera facing your bags. We don't care about your bags. I could get fake bags, too. I can't. I have a direct plug to the fake bags. Just know. All types of fake bags as well. But anyway, let me continue scrolling up and down TikTok to see what more you saying. Because you got me blocked as fuck. So I can't see. Any real bitch would have me unblocked. So I could talk my shit where I need to talk my shit at. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't like that. You ain't cut like that. It's okay. And I ain't even going to try to gaslight you into being that type of person. You want me blocked so that... I you just said that mansion don't look too fake. She also said that she 
um, doesn't own the mansion. Y'all owns the mansion. It's, <laughs> she got proof of all this on Facebook. My point is, I just, I can't get with her cap. Y'all know I'm a realist. I can't get with y'all cap. I can't. I can't. Let me go to uh, her shit. She got to come out and just prove everything, which is ridiculous as well. Um, where is this whole her in her, her house? Her, uh, okay, now everything gone. But I got it from last night, and I actually posted a video. I didn't post it yet, but I have it recorded on my other video, so y'all can just watch that. But um, yeah, bro, this is just. It's a lot. And if somebody was coming at me like that every day, that shit would get on my goddamn nerves. <laughs> okay, so... And then her going to CPS would get on my nerves too, girl. So we just gonna be at war. We're gonna see this war. Hopefully it doesn't end in bloodshed. And that's where I am. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.